Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Wisdom isn't just something that happens to you, like turning 17 or winning the lottery. Wisdom is something to be consciously and boldly chased after. And when I say consciously and boldly chased after, I don't mean half-heartedly jogging towards finding answers to life's questions. According to Merriam-Webster, a chase is the earnest or frenzied act of seeking something desired. If this is true, chasing wisdom should look more like an all-out sprint, arms flailing, heart pounding, a mad dash to experience life and to learn from it, to ask genuine questions to the right people, to be self-aware and aware of the people around you, and to remain teachable and humble at all times. That is what it means to chase wisdom. For us Christians, the Bible is the most reliable source of wisdom available. Any kid who went to Sunday school for any period of time could probably tell you all about King Solomon, how he asked God for wisdom and God gave it to him. Solomon is commonly remembered as the wisest king in the Bible, but he still did some pretty foolish things. When God gave Solomon the gift of wisdom, Solomon seemed to think that he was secure for the rest of his life. In his chase for wisdom, he slowed from an all-out sprint to a half-hearted jog, which ended up allowing him to fall to temptation and lose everything he had. There are two main lessons that can be learned from Solomon's story. Ask God for wisdom, and even when God fulfills his promises, never stop chasing understanding. Confucius once said, He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. The biggest takeaway from this proverb is remain teachable. Push yourself to think deeper, really learn, gain knowledge and use that knowledge to propel you in your chase after wisdom. In his book, The Pursuit of God, A.W. Tozer says, To have found God and still to pursue Him is the soul's paradox of love. God created us with a desire to love Him, but it has to be your conscious decision to boldly and unapologetically chase after Him. Wisdom is the same way. If you want to experience it in the fullest, most vivid degree, then chase it. And chase it hard. <laughs>